I'm happy to see you. I'm not going to say hello today. I'm going to say goodbye. Goodbye. It's opposite day. So we're doing everything the opposite. In fact, I'm wearing my shirt inside out. I'm wearing pajamas in the day and I usually wear my hair down. So I'm wearing my hair up today. Sue usually has her hair up. So Sue has her hair down today. Come on out, Sue, so they can see your hair. Look at Sue, her hair is down and I like your shirt. You turned your shirt inside out, didn't you, Sue? Well, today's letter is the letter O and O is for opposite. So we're gonna be doing some fun activities all during our lesson that relate to opposites. So Sue, I guess we better get started with our letter of the day. If you wanna sit down, I'll show you how to write it. This is what it looks like. It's the letter O. There's the big uppercase and the lowercase O. They look exactly the same, except they're opposites. One is big and one is small. That's opposite. So let's see if we can write the letter O. Did you know that there are some opposites when we write O2? Because we start at the top and then we go to the bottom, top and bottom. Those are opposites. And then we go all the way back up to the top. So down and up, those are opposites. And that's how you write the uppercase O. On the handwriting house, the uppercase O is going to start upstairs and then it's going to go downstairs. So if you'd like to practice right now, you can. If you don't have any paper, you can just sky write with your finger. You can just write in the sky with your finger around and around. So this is the letter O. It starts at the top and goes to the bottom and then back up to the top. So go down and up, down and up. This is the uppercase letter O. That wasn't so hard. Well, the lowercase letter O is exactly the same, except for it's just going to be the opposite of big. It's going to be small. You're still going to start at the top, go down and all the way back up. So there's the little lowercase O. And on the handwriting house, that needs to be downstairs. So let's see if we can try that. So we're going to start downstairs and we're going to go down and up, down and up, down and up. That is pretty easy. Down and up. Well, I want to talk about what letter O sounds like, but before I do, I want to ask you a question. Do you feel good today? Are you feeling good? I'm feeling good today. I feel good, but I have to tell you something. My friend O does not feel good. My friend O is feeling bad. He has a sore throat and he has to go to the doctor. And the doctor says, open your mouth and say, ah. Did you see that my mouth looks like an O? Ah. That's the sound that letter O makes. O says, Ah, uh, you try. Ah, uh, well, we're not going to blend with O today because we do that every day. O is one of those five special letters we call vowels. A, E, I, O, U. Did you hear me say O? So we're not going to blend, but instead today we're going to be listening to the middle sound, okay? And I want you to do something with your thumb. If you hear the word that has O, ah uh, in the middle, give me a thumbs up. But if you don't think it has ah uh, in the middle, do the opposite, thumbs down. Okay, get your thumb ready, here we go. The first word is hot, hot. Thumbs up, hot has an O. Oh. I even saw an O oh with my mouth when I was saying it. So that would be, that could be a little secret way that you can remember what, um, if it has an O or not, you can decide. Look at my mouth. If you see an O when I'm saying it, thumbs up, it has an O. Okay, so here we go. The next one is top, top. Thumbs up again, very good. 
top, has an O in the middle. Okay, get your thumb ready. Here we go. Sit. Sit. Thumbs down. It doesn't have off. Okay, what about this one? Get your thumb ready. Pop. Pop. Thumbs up. Pop. Has an ah in the middle. All right, let's try the next one. Hug. Hug. No, thumbs down. Last one, get your thumb ready. Cob. Cob. Thumbs up. Very good. You did a great job identifying the ah sound in the middle. Okay, so next we're going to play a little game. It's going to be bingo. So I'm going to put the link so that you can get the bingo board that we're going to be using today. But if you don't have it and you don't are not able to print it, then don't worry, you can share with me. I'm going to show you my board and you can help me. You just can you can just point to the things um, and I'll cover them for us. Now this is opposite bingo. So we're I'm going to say um, something and then you're going to look for the opposite on the bingo board, okay? And when we win, if we get a whole row all the way across, if we get enough all the way across, we're going to say not bingo, we're going to say the opposite of bingo. We're going to say ognib. The opposite of bingo, if you spell it backwards, is ognib. That's what we're going to say when we win. Okay, so let's give it a try. What is the opposite of sad? The opposite of sad is happy. So can you find a happy face? I'll cover it for us. Okay, I see it. I see it too. There it is. Here's the happy face. Okay, what is the opposite of slow? The opposite of slow. Fast. So can you see somebody that's running really fast? Did you find him? Okay, I'm going to cover him up. Very good. If you're doing this at home, you can cover or even just color in the space. Okay, let's see if you can tell me what the opposite of cold is. What's the opposite of cold? Hot. Can you see something that's hot? Like fire. Can you see some fire? Very good job. There is some hot fire. Let's put a marker on top of it. Okay, so now I want you to see if you can find the opposite of weak. Weak means you can't really lift very much. What's the opposite of weak? Strong. The opposite of weak is strong. Can you see someone who's really strong? Hmm. There he is. I see him. He's lifting those weights right there. I'm going to put a marker on top of him. Okay, the next one is, I want you to tell me if you can see the opposite of dark. Now, the opposite of dark, like when you turn a light switch off and it's dark in the room, what's the opposite of dark? Light. Can you find the light? I see it too. There it is. I'm going to cover it for us. Okay, can you find the opposite of empty? Can you find an, a basket that's the opposite of empty? A full basket. Yes, can you find the full basket? Good, 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 good. There it is. It's at the top right here. There's the full basket. Okay, can you find the opposite of out? What's the opposite of out? It's in. Can you find a pot? There's a red arrow pointing in the pot. Good job. I'll cover it for us. It's right there. Okay, can you find the opposite of go? What's the opposite of go? Stop. The opposite of go is stop. There's the stop sign. That's the opposite. Oh, look, everybody. We have four in a row. That means we have bingo. So instead of saying bingo, we're going to say ognib. Ognib. We won. Ognib. 
Okay, well, I want to show you some things that are opposite. This is a happy face. And this is a sad face. They're opposites. Happy and sad are opposites. Well, I'm going to teach you a little song about these opposites, happy and sad. And for art today, if you'd like to, you can take two paper plates and you can decorate one with a happy face and one with a sad face. And then you can sing this song later. It goes like this. If you're happy and you know it, then you smile. Let me see your smile. Oh, those are nice smiles. If you're happy and you know it, then you smile. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, then you smile. If you're sad and you know it, then you frown. If you're sad and you know it, then you frown. If you're sad and you know it, then your face surely show it. If you're sad and you know it, then you frown. Well, I hope you're happy today. We should be happy. This is the day that the Lord has made. We can rejoice and be happy and glad in it. Well, I have something that I think will make you glad. Our science for today is going to be pretty fun. We're going to be doing an activity that is called float or sink. So float and sink are opposites. So I have some things. I'm going to move my camera so you can see. I have some things here, a bowl of water, but then I have some things on the table here. And we're going to see if they sink or if they float. And I'm going to let you guess and see what you think too, okay? All right, so let's start with, do you want to start with, how about the car? Want to start with the car? Okay, so do you think the car is going to sink or float? Well, let's find out. Did you make your guess? Okay, let's find out. Whoa, the car sank right to the bottom. What should we try next? Mm, the egg? You want to try the egg? Let's try the egg. Okay, so do you think the egg is going to sink or float? Okay, let's find out. <gasps> The egg floats, wow. All right, next you wanna try, let's try oh, the Lego. We'll try the Lego. Okay, this little Lego figure. Do you think this is gonna sink or float? Okay, let's try. Oh, oh, wow, it looked like he was gonna sink, but then he came right back up to the top. He's floating. Okay, let's try, do you wanna try? Do you want to try the duck, this little snowman duck? Do you think he's going to sink or float? Okay, let's give it a try. <gasps> he floats, the duck, he floats. Oh, that was cool. Maybe you have one like, kind of like this in your bathtub that floats. Okay, let's try. Do you want to try the dice next? Do you think this plastic dice is going to sink or float? Okay, let's try. Oh, it sank right to the bottom. What do you think about this little frog? Do you wanna try him next? Is the frog gonna sink or float? Okay, let's try it. <gasps> the frog floats. It looks like he's just swimming there. Wanna try this wood? What do you think about this piece of wood? Is it gonna sink or float? Okay, let's give it a try. <gasps> the wood floats. Wow, that was cool. Let's try, you want to try this rock? Let's try the rock. Is it going to sink or float? Okay, let's give it a try and see what happens. Whoa, the rock sank right down to the bottom. Now I have this balloon. Do you think the balloon is going to sink or float? Okay, let's give it a try. The balloon floats right on top of the water. And I also have this penny. Will the penny sink or float? It's really small. Do you think it's gonna sink or float? Hmm, 
Let's try. <gasps> the penny went right to the bottom. It sank. Oh, wow. Well, that was a lot of fun. Let me tell you what was happening. Why did something sink and some things float? Well, that has to do with a word called density. So things that, um, all things are made up of molecules. That's the way God designed them. Sometimes the molecules are really closely packed together. Doesn't that look like letter O? So the molecules are closely packed together and that makes them denser or heavier. Things that have molecules that are really packed together are denser and they're heavier and they're going to sink to the bottom. But some things have molecules that aren't as, um, as packed closely together. I was thinking about that egg. Remember the egg didn't have anything in the middle. It was empty and it floated. It was less dense than some of the more dense things like the rock or the metal car. Okay, well, I um, hope you had a great day today. It was fun to do opposite day. And instead of saying goodbye, I'm going to say hello. See you next time. Hello. See you next time. Hello.